Isaiah 15 and verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals and the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the, the waster to destroy. All right. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone, of whom I learn from daily, daily, and a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Okay. Oh boy. Verse 17. <laughs> this fits exactly with my vision, my dream that I had. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord Yahweh. Okay, so, oh boy, I'm gonna get into this, this dream that I had last night, and I'm, you know, it's, this is one. This is one. Usually, I I don't remember my dreams. I just don't remember them. But this is one I, I can hardly forget. I can hardly forget. It was a warning, you know. And Yahabashim Yahshua, I said, give them warning for me. So this place is getting ready to burn soon come. It's getting ready to burn soon come, okay? And this was an extremely scary vision. You know, so I'm going to give this testimony. That's why I got the bombs playing in the background. All right, so in my vision, it starts out, my dream, if you will, brother's putting up videos. It was almost just like this. But it was more like, uh, you know, Terminator 2. If you've ever seen that movie, watch it. Okay? When Sarah Connor gets burned the hell up and everybody gets burned up. It was just like that. All right? I used to work for a gentleman, uh, uh, a guy. Uh, he's an Edomite, man. Tree cutter, if you will. You know, I was a lumberjack way back a decade or so ago. And uh, it, was, it was him and me and another guy. And the reason why, you know, uh, I read that scripture is because... That's exactly what was happening. The uh, the dude that I used to work for was was building a, a an atomic weapon, you know, some kind of large large weapon, and he was planning on exploding it at a gas station, and 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 that is exactly what he proceeded to do. So you know somehow or another he procured everything he needed to make an atomic weapon, and he did. He did. And. Uh, let's see, you know how dreams, they, they'll jump around on you. But see, this was a warning. This was a warning. Okay? Oh my. It's, 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 this was something else. Yahabashim Yasha is powerful. Okay? But uh, it, it, we ended up at that gas station. And he had gone in with the, uh, the weapon that, that he devised, you know, the waster. He'd gone in with the waster. And then there was another guy with him. So lucky. Yep, there was another guy with him that had the trigger, if you will. Okay? And what he did was uh, he was out he was outside and then he hit the he'd hit the trigger. And it didn't go off first at first. And you know, by that time I was trying to get away cuz I was like, "Wait a minute. These you know, these these Edomites are getting ready to really do this, man." Yeah, I didn't think they were going to do it, but they, they were getting ready to do it. And so we kept hitting the button. Finally, it went off. And there was a just a huge, a huge flash of light. I mean, and it was it was so bright, there was, there was no way I could see anything, right? And at that point, I don't know why, but I wasn't afraid. It, it, I wasn't, it, it didn't scare me. Nothing, it, it did not scare me. You know, at first I thought, wait a minute, I'm, I'm, good, I'm getting ready to die along with these freaks man he's, he's crazy people but uh, uh, I, I was calm okay and 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 i saw the big flash of light and then right then i knew I was, I was like well you know maybe maybe i'm not gonna make it you know maybe i'm not gonna make it at all but yeah how about you come to find out yeah was i was he was there with me he was with me and because he let me uh, so I mean, it was it was very quick, but the, uh, I heard the I didn't really hear anything. That's that's you know that's sort of how I knew that he was there with me, 
You know, he was covering me. He was, he was, he was my shield and my buckler, you know? My hedge of protection, if you will. But I, you know, but, but I knew that I was in the midst of that explosion. And you see what I remember next. Yeah, what I remember next is I was laying face down. Like, I'd say maybe five or six hundred feet away from where the explosion happened. It, it threw me that far. OK, it did. It threw me that far. And I was laying down, you know, again, face down. And Yahweh, he was warning me because he let me feel just a little bit, just a little bit of that heat that was coming off of that of that bomb that that Edomite had made. Right. He let me feel just a little bit of that heat. And let me tell you, it was extremely, it was extremely hot. It was so, it was so hot, I can't even explain it. But see, I knew Yahweh was with me because it really should have burned me completely up, all the way up. It should have burned me completely up. But he was with me, he was covering me. But he let me feel just enough. And it, and it was different waves of heat. Different waves, like... There was a uh, there was a little heat, and then there was just just tr tremendous, uh, uh, concentrated heat. It was so it was so hot I can't even explain it. And, and it, and it hurt. Oh, it hurt! It hurt so bad. Okay, but it, but it wasn't enough to kill me, and he was covering me. Now I do realize that. Okay, I'm gonna get some scriptures after this, but yeah, I just wanted to explain that. You know, that's that was basically the meat. Of the dream and he, he was showing me how hot it's gonna get in this place man this place is gonna burn it's gonna shake to and fro okay all right now then directly after that directly after that you know it was it was it was over if you will uh, the heat portion of it was over okay matter of fact let's go ahead and get a scripture on that this is Isaiah 24 and verse 20 because you know uh, like I said you know the heat the heat portion it was it was over but the earth was still it was still moving and, and and it was like it was like a wave that was coming up a wave that was coming up the side of the mountain and and, and bear you in mind this you know this place where i live is it's very wooded area you know it's extremely wooded area and then when yahweh allowed me to actually get up and look and see what the destruction was it was tremendous Oh, it was tremendous. Every tree, everything that was there, all the cars, all the people, were they were gone completely. Like gone. Okay? Completely gone. Vaporized. There was nothing more than uh there was ne there was neither root nor branch. It was all gone. Okay? And I can't reiterate enough the amount of heat that he allowed me to feel was something to it was something to fear it was something to fear oh boy isaiah 24 verse 20 the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard that's what it was doing it was like a it was like a like a underground wave it's like the uh like the soil was was water and it just came on up it was like quicksand the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And it shall and it shall fall and not rise. Yeah. Neither root nor branch. It was completely gone. Everything was gone. Okay. Oh, wow. As a matter of fact, it was it was exactly like this. You can't tell me these Edomites, these people that write these so uh, stories, these movies have not read the scriptures because it was exactly like that. Exactly, but brighter, but brighter, okay? And and the heat that was felt, it was, it, it was, it was, oh man. Again, it was tremendous and it was extremely scary. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, okay? It was just like that, just like this. And everything was vaporized, it was gone. It, everything was completely gone, okay? Oh, man. I don't want to play too much of that because you know how that goes. But all right. So let's go into some scriptures here. Matter of fact, let's read this one first. This is Zechariah 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherein 
the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. You see that? Okay. You know, and in that in that vision, in that testimony, if you will, uh, the, uh, the Edomite dude that I used to work for, he was like, he was building this bomb like he was a robot, man. Like Yahweh Bashim Yahshua made him do it. You know, it, it, that's it, it was it was oh boy. Uh, Zechariah fourteen verse twelve and oh boy, it was scary. And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away as they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. See that? And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Okay? Can't make this up. Their flesh shall consume away in their holes. Their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. See that? While they stand upon their feet. That's what this is what I saw. Oh man. It's gonna get it's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hot, man. Okay. Let's go here. This is Malachi 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. That's what it, what that's what I saw. It was stubble. Everything was gone. There was neither root nor branch. There was nothing left. Nothing. And the day that cometh shall burn, burn of them, Aslachia, burn them up, saith the Lord Yahweh, of host. That's of armies, man. He's got us. He, he, he protected me through all that. Okay? That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. There was nothing left. It was all gone. Okay? I cannot reiterate that enough. And the heat, the, a little amount of heat that he allowed me to feel. Oh man, it was it, it came in waves. It was it was like two different waves. One, it was hot. I was like, oh my goodness, you know, it, it was scary. I said, oh, oh man, you know, am I burning up? I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. And you know, am I, you know, I'm getting ready to uh, go back to the one to the, uh, the holy one of Israel, you know, the one who made me. But then it got hotter. Yeah, and, I, and again, I realized, I, I said, man, Yahweh has got to be covering me. Especially when he allowed me to get up and look and everything was gone. Everything was vaporized. Second Peter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. All right. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Boom. You see? And the elements shall melt with feverent heat. The earth also and the works there, uh, therein shall be burned up. Okay? Oh, man. Isaiah 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is fought with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and with fuel of fire. And it's very interesting, you know, that it happened at a... Uh, it, it just so happened at a gas station, man. He he was showing me. He was showing me that this this is going to come to pass. This is going to happen. You know, whether they were here or for a bear, they will know. Yeah, how about Shimei Shah's not playing, man? But this, I got to read that again. Let's go from the top. Isaiah 9, verse 5. For every battle is, of the warrior is fought with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel. What do you sell at gas station? Fuel of fire. See that? Oh, man. You know, I, I suppose that was symbolic. He was showing me. He was showing me what's, good, what's getting ready to happen. This place is going to reel to and fro like a drunkard. It's going to be burned up. The heavens are going to be rolled together as a scroll. Like it says right here in Revelation 6 and verse 14. Okay. St. John. Right. And the heavens departed as a scroll when it, when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. You know, every island and uh, island and mountain were moved out of their places, man. You know, the sun and the moon is going to it's going to be darkened. You know, uh, 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 Esau, Edom, uh, Satan, the devil, you know. It's lucky. Uh, uh, the devil is going to be cast out with his angels, man. You know, which, uh, and his angels are the, uh, 
uh, or his uh, uh, military, uh, what do you call them, uh, planes and all that, man. Maybe even possibly satellites, okay? I'm glad I learned that breakdown the other day. But this is extremely serious. It's extremely serious. We better get ready. We better get ready, man. And give them warning from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay? We don't want to get caught. <laughs> from that dream, yeah, I could feel that heat, man. It, oh, it was hot. It was the hottest thing I've ever felt. Scared, it scared me. Isaiah 13 and verse 8. And they shall be afraid, pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that, tra that uh, travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Okay? Their faces shall be as flames. Slucky, I didn't mean to do that. I got a couple more. I'll close it down. Okay? All right. Yeah, I read that. Slucky. Let's go here. Let's go here. Actually, I read, oh, yeah, I read this too. Yeah. So, you know, I guess I'll close it out there. You know, but again, hey, again, this is going to happen. This is going to happen, okay? As they stand upon their feet. Feverent heat, man. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kodash, Wa Ababa Ba. Boom! Shalom.